Think about your phone. It's worth the most when it's brand new, right? That's the logic behind some of your digit method, more depreciation early on. But why do companies use this method? Hi, I'm Dheeraj Vaidya, co-founder of Wall Street Mojo and today I'll simplify some of your digit method for depreciation and its practical applications. Let's jump in. What is sum of years digit method of depreciation? So sum of years digit method of depreciation or the SYD method is an accelerated depreciation method. So in this method, we charge a higher depreciation expense in the initial set of years and lower amount of depreciation in the last few years of the useful life. So let us take an example to understand how the calculation of this depreciation expense takes place under this method. So let's assume that we have uh, assets worth $12,000, okay? And the useful life of that asset is, say, five years, okay? And the salvage value is, uh, let's say, $2,000, okay? So just a reminder, salvage value is nothing but the scrap value. That is, you can, at the end of this useful life, you can sell this asset at $2,000 as scrap, okay? That's a recoverable amount of that asset after five years. So let us look at the formula of uh, SYD or the sum of your digit method of depreciation expense. So the formula goes like this. You have this cost of assets, that is 12,000 in this case, minus your salvage value. Okay, that is $2,000, right? And this is then multiplied by something called as the discount factor. Okay, and it depends on the year which we are talking about. So what do I mean by this is, let's say the useful life is five years, right? So this discount factor for year one will be different, year two it will be different, year three it will be different and so on and so forth. So now let's look at how discount factor is found out. So the first thing is, as the name suggests, sum of year digit method. So what we do is, you know, we take this useful life how many years does it have? Five years, right? So we start adding this up. Basically, what we'll do is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So the sum total of this comes out to be how much? That is equal to 15, all right? So this is the sum total. That's the first step. Now, coming to the calculation of discount factors for each year, let's make this table first. Year 1, year 2 so on and so forth until year 5, okay? Now, look at this calculation very carefully. I'm calculating the discount factor. For the first year, okay, you will start from the last. That is 5 divided by your sum total, okay? For the first year, you will start with the largest number. That is 5 here, right? Okay, so this becomes your discount factor for the first year, all right? How about the discount factor for the second year? This will be 4 divided by 15, okay? What about the third year? It will be 3 divided by 15. Fourth year, it will be 2 divided by 15. And fifth year, it will be 1 divided by 15. So, let me just represent this in two decimals so that we clearly know the difference between the discount factors. So here we are, okay, so year 1, 0 0.33 and so on and so forth. Okay, so these are the discount factors. Now let's calculate the depreciation expense for each year. Okay, so how much is that? Cost of assets, okay, minus your salvage value, right? And this multiplied by your discount factor for year 1. That will be your depreciation expense for year 1. How much that is? 3333.3, 3, 3, 3, 3. okay? Now, let me just um, freeze these cells so that I can copy and paste the formula. So, what about year 2? Year 2, it is 12,000 minus 2,000 multiplied by the discount factor that is 0 0.27. Okay. So, I will just copy and paste the formula for the remaining years. And what do we get is the depreciation expense for each year. Now, one thing to note here, obviously, is that this is an accelerated depreciation method, which we said earlier. Higher depreciation in initial years and lower depreciation in the far years, right? And what is the total amount of depreciation that is charged? That is equal to 10,000, right? Because that's the amount that is depreciated from 12,000 to 2,000. The difference is 
10,000. Okay. Now, let us look at how this affects the balance sheet as well. Okay. So, for that, again, we'll create another table and we'll have this so opening balance, depreciation expense, and the closing balance. Okay. Now, what is the opening balance and closing balance? Opening balance is the balance of the asset at the start of the year and closing balance is the balance at the end of the year. Okay. So, what's the opening balance for year one? Opening balance for year one is $12,000, right? What is the depreciation for year one that we charge? That is 3333.3, right? So, what is the closing balance? It will be opening balance minus your closing balance, right? So, likewise, we can do the same for year two. What's the opening balance for year two in terms of asset book value? That is the closing balance of year one, right? Now, depreciation expense. We have already calculated 2666.7. So the closing balance will be 6000 now in this case. And I'll just copy and paste this across so that we get the closing balance for each of the years. Now, note that, you know, the salvage value is 2000, right? In this case, and at the end of five years, the book value as an asset of an asset is 2000, right? So this is the way you can check whether your calculations are right or not.